guys, Clyde here, out here in the workshop. As you can see, the bench is covered with a bunch of junk. I have been working all day. I started at about 10 o'clock this morning, and I finally have gotten together the brand new F-16 V2 from the second group by. I built it from start to finish today. Man, this was a big project, but I'm so thrilled that it's finished. As you can see, this is the uh, this is the uh, sister board that you can order that has an additional 16 outputs. This is the connection of the ribbon cable that's connected to it. And then you can also see here, I've got the network switch sitting right in here. I did run a power wire right from the network switch over to this little um, auxiliary out 5 volt uh, power supply out so that it can run uh, run at, run the switch that's over here and I just have one cable connecting right to the uh, E131 there and then this is going right out here and I put a nice big long cable on it so that I don't have to worry about this can come right out of the computer and this will be my first uh, this will be my first stop for E131 so uh, this will become a hub sort of but uh, I just wanted to show you, I've got it all set up. This is the new one that does have the OLED display. This uh, also has an updated, uh, uh, and it's kind of hard to see right behind the ribbon cable here. This is a micro USB port. This has been moved. This area has kind of been updated thanks to Dave. He had a great idea that it was a little hard to update your firmware whenever you connected the uh, uh, USB port, uh, the micro USB port um, uh, power wire into there. On the, on the right-hand side here, you see the uh, one 12-volt power supply that I have connected to the unit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and go around and turn around and show you the back. All right, here we are. Um, this is the uh, opposite side. Oh, oh, nothing really much to see here other than I have my enclosure and I have two power supplies sitting inside the box. It's being held in place by some zip ties, but I have a backer board that these are zip tied to, so they're not going anywhere. These are nice. These are nice thick, um, nice thick zip ties. They're they're heavy duty for for sure. And the backer board is just screwed right into the board. There's a couple screw holes right there. You might be able to see it and one down here. So uh, that nice piece of plastic. Now I'm. I am using six, uh, 14 gauge wire. This is uh, uh, standard home wire, but I'm only running it up underneath the box through the uh, through the the piece of plywood here and up into the box and wiring it. Uh, so that's the basic build. I mean, there really isn't much to it. Uh, it does need a fresh coat of paint because it's going to be outside. But I wanted to get it together and uh, and do this little little quick short test. And uh, I know you all have seen the other video with this running, but uh, this definitely exemplifies that we have both 5 volt and 12 volt going. These pixels here on the right hand side, these are from Ray. These are the new Technicolor uh, version 3 pixels. Um, he sent me a, a, a 20 pack string showing just a little bit of different stuff. So, um, guys, there is the brand new F16 V2. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.